Okay, so a couple of improv ideas over this funk groove. I want to show you just how my mind works when I'm playing on top of something like this. So first and foremost, I want you guys to understand when you're improvising, you have to have some type of basis or some type of fundamentals behind it in order to improvise freely. It has to come from somewhere. So let's just break it down. All we have is a guitar and some drums. All right, just a nice shuffle type of, you know, groove backbeat type of thing with the guitar raking. Real nice funk groove. It's really, uh, it's really a C, a C7, but you can play that as a C9 as well. Um, I think he's playing a C9. Yeah, you hear that D on the top. Yeah, you hear that on the top of it, but it's still the same thing. You can still use the same exact scale over that. He's just continuing that chord extension. So C7, C9, same thing, but adding the nine on top of that. Okay, so you have to understand that in order to, now if he added a flat nine on top of that, or the guitar player was adding a flat nine, now you have to change the scale completely in order to improvise over that. So now that we're thinking dominant chord, one, three, five, seven of a C7, and then the nine is just adding another chord extension on top of that, not a sharp, not a flat, just another nine, just another interval, we're still using the same exact scale. So for instance, C mixolydian or C dominant scale. Dominant scale, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's where that chord, that's where that, that's where that note comes from on top of the chord that he's playing. So I wanna show you just an idea of what's going on in my head. I'm gonna play the track so you can hear it and follow along. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me on top of this. So what he's playing is a C9 chord. And what we're gonna do is experiment with the chord tones. So we have the one, three, five, seven, nine. So what I like to do is experiment with those chord tones. So let's play a scale on top of each chord tone. So what we have to realize first is we have our C mixolydian scale. So the next chord tone, it starts on the three or the third note of that arpeggio. So we have one, three, five, seven. So we have to figure out what scale goes with that. So since we're in a mixolydian key, you have to understand that as well. So understand that we're in a mixolydian key, not just a major key. I know we're taught or you know trained to you know think that every time we play it in a key, it has to be either major or minor. That's not the case. And a lot of blues music, they don't even play like an Ionian scale. It's mostly all dominant keys. It's all dominant chords, <laughs> dominant scales. Uh, when you go do it uh, through a, a blues progression, okay. So it's dominant chords, dominant scales. You're in a dominant key, okay. So that's your key center, but now that tells you where else you can go, okay? So the second note of that scale, it wouldn't be a Dorian scale, which you're used to, you know, hearing, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian, all right? That's the order, but it doesn't start on the Ionian. It starts on the Mixolydian, okay? So since it starts on the Mixolydian, the next note of that scale, what scale is it gonna, what note, the next, sorry, the next note of that scale, what scale is that gonna start? All right, so we have the C, then we have the D. And since our first scale is a mixolydian, our next scale will be what? Aeolian. All right, so it's almost like we're starting on the fifth mode or on that fifth scale degree, right? So, but C, mixolydian is our key center, but we're just centering it around the fifth mode, okay? So now if you want to maneuver back and forth throughout these scales, all you have to do is move from left to right or back and forth or descending or ascending the scale or these modes, okay? So the next one will be, it, that's our E, so C, D, E of the Mixolydian scale. So the E, you can play, what will that be? So we have five, fifth mode, Aeolian mode, sixth mode. All right, the seventh mode, all right, that will be a Locrian. So all we have to do is play a Locrian scale. And I find that playing these scales on top of the chord tones sounds the best to me when improvising. And I'll show you, I'll give you a demonstration in a little bit just to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, so for the third one, we have Locrian. So we have Mixolydian. The third, for that arpeggio, we have Locrian. For the fifth, 
we have the Dorian. For the seventh, we have we have Lydian. I played that wrong. So we have B flat, sharp four. Okay, so those are all the scales that we have to play with and that we can utilize without even playing the root note. You know, you don't even have to go to the root or revert to the root note to start improvising because sometimes when you play the root note or just play up and down C mixolydian, C mixolydian, it sounds a little stagnant, it sounds a little bit boring. So we wanna be a little bit more, you know, interesting with your choice of notes. So you have all of these notes to work with. You can play them all throughout the scale, all throughout the fretboard. Maybe I'll put a diagram here to just show you exactly where all of these notes are. So you're technically playing a C mixolydian, but you can also think of it as F major. Okay, so in the key of F major, all you have is a B flat. All the other notes are natural. Okay, so all of these notes you can use around the fretboard and play them at your free will <laughs> or as you wish, but I'm just showing you a certain way to play them when you're playing here in the C mixolydian. I'm just playing this scale on the eighth fret. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me solo a little bit or improvise just to show you some ideas and maybe talk through it just a little bit just to show you exactly what possibilities you have. Fun fact, when you're playing that minor seven flat five, you're actually playing the bottom half of that C9 chord. <laughs> so you add a C on top of that and you have a C9 versus an E minor seven flat five. Right, so these are where all of these notes kind of come from and that's why this scale works really well, really beautifully. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. So now I'm coming up with a uh, phrase that I've never really played before because now I'm thinking Lydian. So with the sharp four. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, and then that note actually leads me to the Locrian, the start of the Locrian. And I'll play the arpeggio from there. Right? Minor seven flat five arpeggio. And then I'm ending on the root note. Very simple way to improvise or come up with lines. Okay, so practice time. And what I would like to see from you is just mentally think of these chord tones. The one, the three, the five, and the seven. And to match up the mode that goes with these chord tones being in a mixolydian key. You don't have to use the same speed that I was playing in. You can do quarter notes, you can do whole notes, you can do half notes, whatever you're comfortable with. I didn't want to give you a certain, you know, a certain speed that you need to do this at. Just take your time. Take your time. Speed is not the... The end game it's really not it's being clean clear and precise that is the goal and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace